how to implement door opening in Unity. In this game, I want when the character was near the door, a message displays to me, then by pressing E button, the door opens, and after a while, the door closes automatically. In first step, we should select the door. Disable gizmos to see it better. If we adjust the Y rotation in transform section, the door angle changes and causing the door to open and close. We can do the opening and closing either through code or with animation. I'll do it with animation. In animation window, create a new animation. Press record button. In desired frame, for example 10, make door angle 90 degrees. Now the door opens like this. If its speed is high, increase the distance between frames. Because we want to close the door automatically, copy this frame. Go much further ahead, paste the frame here, and a bit more forward. Close the door by changing Y angle to zero. Here is the result. Now the door opens. After a certain time, it closes automatically. We need another animation for when the door is closed. To create it, click this section and select create new clip. Name is close door. In this animation, set Y angle to zero to make the door always be closed. Now let's manage it in animator window. Define a trigger called open. The door is going to open when it activates, so make a transition from close door to door. Make all options zero and also deactivate them, then click this plus. Make a transition between door and close door, till after animation finishes, door stays in close mode. Select transition, do the same like me and make exit time 0.99. Let's test. If I activate open trigger, door should open, after a time, again door closes and it stays at close mode. Let's move on to the next part, I mean displaying a message after entering the door area. Right click, from UI, create a canvas. Create an image and a text mesh pro. If you don't have TextMesh Pro, import it to your project. In it, write E and set its size and dimensions. Now put it in scenes corner and create another text. Then write this text in it. This is last result. Now to enable and disable image and text easier when character approaches the door, put all text in image subset. Let it be disabled by default. Now we need to detect the character approaching the door. For this, select door and add a box collider for it. Change its collider dimensions to make it bigger and easier for the character to collide with. At last, add door tag for it. Now let's go for character. First of all, it should have a collider, which character has it from before. Then check its trigger box. Do the same for door. Another thing the character needs is rigid body. Simply add rigid body component for it. Let's go for detecting collision. Create a new script called Collision and give a script to player. We can detect character and door collision with untrigger enter command. Now we need write an if. If what you are colliding with has a tag called door. Here we need to enable the object that displays opening door message. So define an object and enable it in this if. Now to disable the message when we got far from the door, 
copy the whole void and instead of enter, write exit and false is active. Now, if we exit from door collider, opening door message deactivates. Well, next thing is by pressing E button, door opens. So right to update void and with this command detect pressing of E button. Also define an animator called door, which we are going to enable open trigger with it to open the door. Now there is a problem, wherever character B, by pressing E button, door opens, which we don't want this happens, and the door should be openable only when character was near to the door. To do this, we have couple ways. One of them is to detect character distance from the open door message being enabled or disabled. With this command, we can understand an object is enabled or not. If you have more doors in your game and you want to open a special door, it's better to define an integer and detect closest door by changing that integer number. Now give message game object to define a game object. And give door animator to door. Let's test. When we approach a door, opening door message displays to us. We can open the door with E button. And when we get far from it, the message deactivates. There is another point. If you open the door, door opening message should be disabled. So again, open the script. In updates, after opening the door, deactivate the message. This is the final result. Hope you guys like it. Have a great day or night or whatever. Thanks for watching.